Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial and today we are going to uh, check the hotkeys because it is really important to have good hotkeys especially when you are a beginner and being a beginner doesn't mean you shouldn't use hotkeys so let's check all the important hotkeys together first one and second one uh, go, go they go together so eco menu and military menu that's uh, these two hotkeys and um, use them to create buildings so whenever you want to create a building you need to open the menu first so for me i'm using tab because uh, let's check together tab is next to the control groups so the two next to the numbers and you are going to use this part of the keyboard a lot so i would recommend using tab and we will also create buildings with this one once once we get a bit better at the game so okay tab for this menu and the other menu i am using um my wheel so this is wheel down so wheel down i'm opening this menu tab i'm opening this menu okay and um, other ones we need to use garrison garrison you are getting attacked you need to react quickly save your villager garrison garrison it's here just put something that is really accessible to you i would put it on the top left of my keyboard like q q is a really nice one um yeah q is a really nice hotkey and this is going to be super easy for your fingers to reach so whenever you need to react quickly you just press q uh, we also need an garrison so on garrison um, it's unit command as well and you need to put something close to garrison that's going to be easier for your brain to understand so you can put w w is good too and after and garrisoning you also have another option you have go back to work go back to work is so let me show you the differences i put the rally point if i am garrisoning the villager goes on the rally point while if I go back to work, it's going to go back to what he was doing. So go back to work hotkey needs to be the same as garrison. So it needs to be Q for you guys. Uh, you can put something else, uh, but this is my logic at least. So um, why should it be the same when you garrison and, and you can go back to work quickly? So you can uh, save your villagers and go back to work without moving your fingers. And also, uh, you can force drop some resources. And the good thing about it is when you garrison, it automatically selects a TC or the other building that you garrisoned inside. Okay, now uh, we have go to TC. Go to TC, it's pretty simple. You are checking the camels on the map, anything else, uh, dead bodies. You need to go back to your eco and check what's happening go back to the tc okay really useful for me this is my wheel and you can find this hotkey in cycle command so this is the wheel button for me um i recommend to use it i think it's a really good hotkey to use what else would you have uh, select all tcs of course select all tcs is something that you need to master as well so i will put it in uh wait i think it's in game command game command select all 10 centers yes it's it's here so it doesn't matter where you put it as long as it's good for you and again being a good hotkey means it should be on the top left of your keyboard so take the keyboard top left you could put a for example a is a really nice hotkey it's close to control groups uh, close to tab where you have the menu so your figures are going to be around here and also left of the keyboard you have this hotkey control so it makes even more sense to put it here because you are going to use control a lot and shift and all the things on the left so yeah a is good for um, select all tcs um, make villagers to create villagers it's really good to have a hotkey next to um, select all tcs hotkey because when, when you will be selecting all TCs, usually it's to create villages. So um, if your fingers has to move from A to L, it's really bad. So yeah, you put something next to A, 
could be S, could be, um, I don't know, any anything around here, up to you guys. Uh, you have a good setup to create villagers. Uh, go back to what we did already, go to idle villager. Doesn't need to be the fastest thing ever. Um, if you have some mouse button, I would recommend putting it um, on it. Like usually you have some mouse button on your uh, thumb. Um, so yeah, that's a good way to do it. Patrol, patrol, when are you going to use patrol? Patrol uh, is before taking any fight. So this is this thing. So for me, it's T, but I don't have the same. Yeah, okay, it's the same button. Um, it should be somewhere uh, accessible as well, because it's one of the most important root keys. All the root keys I'm talking about should be on the top left. So it could be D, it could be T as well. T is quite easy to reach, in my opinion, at least for me. Uh, could be her, could be he. Okay, but just try to gather them. So wherever you have space on the top left, put it. Uh, and then select all army root key. You guys are probably not that comfortable with control groups, and this is useful anyway to select all the army. So you should put it um, again something that is next to the control groups as close as possible to the control groups. I recommend using this letter. Um, yeah, you have this letter above a tab. So yeah, this one is the best because this is going to be almost as a control group basically. And why is this key so good? So when you press it once, like here I press it once, you select all the military units, uh, the land units, and if you press it twice, you will press, like here I don't have boats, but if you press it qu twice, you will press, uh, you will select the boats. So this is really good to play hybrid maps, and this is how I play on hybrid maps, basically. Um, yep, yeah. I guess that's it for the odd keys. And uh, I don't see anything important for beginners. So if you guys uh, have questions, you can ask it in the comments. Otherwise, I will wish you good luck setting them up and see you next time. Bye bye, guys.